what what we're going to talk about today with Hunter Biden and this laptop and him suing the the uh the laptop repairman. Mm, that's an interesting that's an interesting move. What's well, a dirtbag move and it it speaks to the morality of the family, you know. <laughs> the crime Honestly. the crime family? Yeah, you know because it's it's like why uh why are you going to sue the, the the laptop repair man? You know, for what? Come on. You knew what you were doing and you knew what you were doing was, was, was violating America. You're just mad because you, there's pictures of you looking like a, you know, laying in bed with a crack pipe hanging out of your mouth and all the things that you were doing with those kids. And a crack you know? pipe hanging from your other thing and a crackhead yeah. hanging from your other thing. President's son. Yep. You know, I was there. There's just so much wrong with that. You know what I mean? That that just him alone, just him being that is is a uh, a security concern. You know what I mean for the for the nation because that's a weak spot. That's a weak point in in the uh, in the president's whatever you know what i mean because you're gonna do whatever you got to do for your kid right uh maybe maybe i don't know these folks that they, they tend to use their their children for things not not necessarily uh like what something you and i would would do as a regular person no i mean that's true but you know if if i was the public if i if i was the 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 public guy right i would take advantage of that because I, I see this as this is this is the issue in America. How many of <clears throat> how many of our children are addicted? Right. So and 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 the president's son is addicted. So it would give him a camaraderie with the issues going on here in America because it, it, it you know, but instead of hiding it or lying against it, you know, for this this image thing. You know, this is why we are where we are because we're we're worried about our image first over what the actual issue is. You know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and for those of you out there, I mean, don't don't. I'm not taking any sides here. I think there's there's a couple of different um, there's a different like there's questions here, right? There's questions of should this individual be protected under whistleblower <laughs> um, law, right? Or did the did the did the laptop repairman exceed his authority in getting into the into the laptop right now did you did he get in now so here here's abandonment right so if you abandon said laptop and don't come in to get it you don't you don't answer any calls you don't return messages you don't do any of that stuff right so now here's this laptop that's it's unclaimed you know whose it is but it's unclaimed at this point right you're not getting paid for it you're not anything so you've done the work how are you going to get paid for it so it's nothing different than let's just say like somebody who repairs a car right hmm. what's that person that what's the mechanic going to do when you repair the car right and you come in and you abandon that car well he's going to go and try to get a title you know get the title go through the process where the DMV where they they get the title for the abandonment and then they're going to sell it right probably more than likely they're going to sell it donate it whatever they're going to try and get some sort of a financial value out of it this is a little bit different right and so does the abandonment of that laptop open the doors for it to be able to be gotten into right accessible and the contents in it now is that i mean i don't know do you think that he he should have like i don't know I, I would think that that was that's kind of a gray area you know what i mean it's like on the one hand well, no it's not right to get into somebody else's shit right that's it's like that's like getting into a diary or a journal right in a sense now is that okay to do? You know what I mean? If somebody leaves their journal, I mean, look at uh, uh, fucking part of the same goddamn family. 
uh, his daughter in her la- in her diary. Remember that? Yes. So, but, I, mean, I mean, it's it's I think it's all about the intent, right? Because you know, our laws I I believe were gen, you know, genuinely written to protect us from maliciousness. Right? Just over time, prosecutors, defense attorneys, the justice system has learned how to use these laws um, in 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 their own fashions. But I believe that the laws in the, in the general sense were written to protect us from maliciousness. So in this sense, when we're talking about privacy, things of that nature, I think it really just kind of boils down to how the laptop was received the the you know the um the stipulations behind that and uh that moving forward right so we know that i think it was 2019 some individual who claimed to be hunter biden dropped this laptop at, off at a at a repair shop right mm-hmm. what happened after that did he not go back for the laptop I don't know, but I pulled up an article from the BBC News, and BBC is actually better. Like, if you're gonna, it, it's a it's a better. The in my opinion, they give they give more credible information because it's not their country. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. So this is uh, from BBC. It says Hunter Biden sues repairman over release of personal data from laptop. Hunter Biden, the U.S. president's embattled son, is suing a Delaware computer repair shop owner over the handling of his private laptop. Mr. Biden and his attorneys allege John Paul Mac Isaac, Jesus Christ, he's got fucking four four first names, mm-hmm. John Paul Mac Isaac, illegally co- copied and distributed private information from the laptop's hard drive. The personal data was used by Republicans to attack Joe Biden during the 2020 presidential election. Which was then hidden by the Twitter uh, by Twitter. <laughs> In a suit he filed last year, Mr. Isaac accused Hunter Biden, the, the the Biden 2020 campaign, a Democratic congressman, and two U.S. media outlets of defaming him by claiming he illegally accessed the data. Hunter Biden counterclaim filed on Friday in the Delaware District Court claims Mr. Isaac gave away his data to political enemies because he opposed his father's candidacy. Did just just that wording sounds so juvenile, right? Like, it just sounds like kid shit. And it would like, so what this sounds like is the laptop owner sued him for defamation of character. And now he's counter suing for getting into the shit. So just further muddying the water, you know what I mean? Around mm-hmm. the facts. Uh, so Hunter Biden's counterclaim filed on Friday in a Delaware district court claims Mr. Isaac gave away his data to, okay, he opposed Father Kennedy. The document alleged that the repairman sent copies of the hard drive to his father in New Mexico and to a lawyer who worked with Mr. Trump's then personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani. Mr. Giuliani and other allies of Mr. Trump, including Steve Bannon, would later gain access to some of the data. Mac Isaac intended and knew or clearly should have known that people whom he provided the data that he believed to belong to Mr. Biden would use it against then candidate Joseph Biden and to assist then President Trump, the filing reads. It adds that disseminating private data in this manner is offensive and objectionable to Mr. Biden and would be highly offensive and objectable to any reasonable person. Okay, well, if it was that bad, then why'd you do it? (laughs) And why would you put it on a fucking laptop where that you, that you put into the public and left like that's no different than leaving it really on a fucking bench on a park bench somewhere for anybody to just grab it in my opinion abandon is abandoned well but but did he abandon it that's that's what i'm trying to find out because i can't find that anywhere so it, it goes mysteriously from him dropping the laptop off to uh Giuliani giving a report to the New York Post about uh, the the relationship with Hunter Biden and the Ukrainian businessman. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's 
what, but where where did that happen? See, again, all of this came in the midst of all of the Donald Trump stuff, right? It came in the midst of all of this. And and this where we get into the maliciousness of it. So where where is it okay at? Is it okay because this is Biden's son and and uh you know the 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 ties that could possibly be leading us to World War Three, right? Mm. But where does that stop? Because the prosecutor is going to say the same thing. The prosecutor is going to say, yeah, you know, okay, I broke a couple laws, but we got bad people off the street. And the public is going to side with that every time until it's them that is now being violated. Their privacy is being violated and used against them. Mm. So where where does the, the line stop at? That's That's the thing. And... Is this just a distraction to take mm -hmm. away from the most, the more important points, Burisma, Ukraine, corruption, all the other things. So if they throw this laptop and all of uh, Hunter's indiscretions out there, that really deflects from his father. Hmm. That's so in half he, of America on a wild goose chase. Yeah. He's running interference for his pops still. You know, there's nothing. Everything is a grift, man. Everything's a grift, or or it's a uh, a Ponzi scheme, which is the same thing. I just like grift better. It sounds cooler. Oh yeah, it definitely. It's definitely a Ponzi scheme. There's no question about that. Yeah, all the motherfucking no grifters. <laughs> grifters. Good morning, and my TikTok shifters. family.